In this video, I wanted to talk about weighted versus unweighted popping corks or floats, whatever uh, you prefer to call them. But there are certain situations where I like to use weighted ones as opposed to unweighted and vice versa. So first, let's talk about the unweighted cork. This cork does not have a weight in it. You know, it's just all foam and then the plastic uh, pin or insert. And typically when you have a weighted cork, the weight's gonna be on the bottom. And what I like about the unweighted corks is that when you're using artificial lures specifically, you have a better idea of what your lure is actually doing. So it's a good visual aid as to knowing, you know, has your lure actually hit the bottom yet? Uh, where your lure is at? If the current has your lure, you know, suspended or something like that, that cork is going to be a better indicator to show that. Because if you're using a weighted cork, as soon as your lure hits the water or as soon as the cork hits the water it's going to stand straight up and down and your lure could be way out here it could be on the bottom it could be up at the surface and you'll never know because that cork is always in the same position because of the weight there now if i want to be able to cast further that's when i like to go with the weighted cork and also if I'm using very light baits, you know, live bait, such as shrimp or small pinfish, something like that, where you don't have a lot of weight, you need to have some added weight in the popping cork, that's gonna help you cast further. And also, you can also add a split shot uh, to your line if you're fishing in heavier current and you wanna keep that bait down. But I go with the weight inside the cork if I wanna cast further and if I'm using live bait. Now, going back to the unweighted cork, this also has uh, you know, an advantage when you're fishing in current. So let's say you're, you're using live bait, you want to let this cork drift with the current, it's gonna drift much better than a weighted cork because it's not weighed down. So your cork is up there on the surface, uh, the current will actually catch the cup in the cork and help drift it down better in the current so you don't have to cast far, you know you can let uh, the cork drift your bait to where you wanna fish. So let's say you're fishing a point and you want to position yourself far enough away from the point that you don't scare the fish, you can toss this cork out with a live bait on it or an artificial and let the current drift that cork down to your target zone. So again, just a couple tips that I wanted to share to help you decide whether or not you wanna use a weighted cork versus an unweighted cork. General rule of thumb I go with, if I'm using artificials, I like to go with the unweighted, and then if I'm using live bait, I like to go with the weighted cork. If you are new to Salt Strong, we are the largest online fishing club for saltwater anglers and we guarantee you two things. Number one, you'll start catching more fish in less time. And number two, you will save a ton of money on your favorite tackle and gear with discounts available exclusively for our members. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there. Strong in weather lines today.